Hi guys, guys and welcome, welcome to, to NYC. NYC. And tonight we're headed to the, the attic. attic. <laughs> well, it's Saturday night. We figured, you know, we got to do something. Uh, Fourth of July is tomorrow, so happy Fourth of July. By the time you see this, it's probably already, you know, probably be August by the time I get to yeah. it, but who knows. But happy Fourth of July. Um, but we figured, you know, we, we, we're, we're going to, you know, celebrate tomorrow, obviously. But we wanted to, with, with some friends, but we wanted to do something a uh, little more romantic. Go out to a little on a date night. Just the two of us. Go to a speakeasy. It's kind of lousy weather out tonight. It's only like in the low 60s. So we figured it would be a good night for a, um, a speakeasy uh, rather than like a rooftop bar or something. So I was looking on Yelp, as I am wont to do. And uh, the second highest rate speakeasy right now, after really? Sugar Monk, which we went to, is the Attic. Attic. Um, and this is a kind of a cool place. It's located in um, in uh, uh, downtown Flushing in Queens. So it's uh, kind of out of, off the beaten path a little bit in terms of speakeasies, uh, which is kind of exciting in some ways. Usually we're going to Manhattan or Brooklyn occasionally, but we haven't really been to... I think we've only been to one other speakeasy in Queens, Ella's. which is... No, no, the one um, uh, in, uh, in Long Island City, which is uh, Dutch Kills, which is awesome. That one's definitely worth checking out. So... This is going to be interesting. Uh, it's also a oyster bar, which is cool. It's um, I think it's called the Attic. It's upstairs above a place, not very well marked, kind of hidden. And it looks like the cocktails are good. They have oysters, and they also have other uh, really good food. It looks like so. We're excited. We haven't eaten dinner yet, and it's nine thirty. So we better go now. I'm getting hangry. Let's go. Catch you there. Second drink, the violent ends. Very 
very, very uh, intense on drink. And intense tasting too. Bourbon, blackberries, egg white, chambord, and I may have mispronounced and blood orange. So it's just got a delicious bourbon flavor. Blackberries. It's got blueberries on top too. It's just like get that with nice whiskey flavor of the bourbon. It's got the, the little bit of fruit in the background with the, the blackberries and blood orange. Just like a really well-rounded drink with like smokiness. A little smokiness, not really, but it's just like the whiskey and the, the, the whiskey and fruit goes well together. So really good. All right, quick bathroom clip. Main thing I want to highlight about this bathroom, this it is a wine chart, wine eye chart, and it basically goes through uh, just different wine phrases. It's different, you know. It's got 2020 vision here, and it goes off from there. Uh, well, here, let me show you. Willing, cultivated, pretentious. Then a sober wine, wine now, wine no, wine. Oh, needy. It's just basically different things and it associates them with a, a uh, mood, I guess. So, um, why no? Buzzed. Wine. Oh, tipsy. Why no? Duplicated. Why no? Toasted. Wine. Souse. And W. Blotto. Kind of fun. Got this awesome chandelier up here. That is basically hangs right under your head. Very cool. Yeah, nice little mirror here. Cute little bathroom. We've had a great time here. I'm gonna head out now, but um, totally worth recommending. Totally worth the trip. One of the few speakeasies in Queens. Very, very awesome. We're about to head out. It was an awesome night. But we got one more drink before we left. As you can see, we, we absolutely didn't like it at all. Moving on. Uh, it's called the Gunpowder. It's recommended to us by one of the people here. Gin, St. Germain, lemon juice, egg white, and honey. Oh man, this is so good. The egg white is always so good. It comes out, it's like creamy, foamy, delicious, light, effervescent. Gin, St. Germain, you get the elderflower, it always goes well together. Lemon, honey, that's a classic. You get the egg white in there, it's just like. It almost tastes like a, like a lemon tart. That's how good it is. It's just delicious. We had a great time here. Food was great, drinks were great. Atmosphere is awesome. Everyone in the Oyster is very friendly and awesome. Definitely deserving of its number two spot on the list of best species at the moment.